Right, Brownie. You spent the last four years at Sheffield. Yeah. What's the um, the highlight of your Sheffield career? <laughs> um, I think the main highlight from it has got to be uh, got to be Wembley. As a bad as it. Uh, Who did you play? We uh, played a team from Lancashire. Uh, Who was it? Witness. <laughs> We are. You're, con you're currently contracted to Witness, so can you just yeah, yeah, why that was the highlight of you? <laughs> we played alright, you know. It's not a bad game. Did you, did you catch all that? Yeah, yeah, scored a couple of fours. Alright. Yeah. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, have you had any conversations with um, obviously Simon's here in the back, so it might, might be a good time now. Yeah. Have you had any conversations about who's going to wear the 13 shirt this year? <laughs> um, Obviously, Kenny, Kenny Baker, for people who don't know him, he wore it last year and he's probably one of the most the most well-liked players in our team. Uh, so, I know that you wore the 13th <laughs> for Sheffield and you know, he scored three tries at Wembley and you're, you're a hero. Like, so, have you had any sort of conversations with Simon or, or Kenny about it? No, nothing about, nothing about it at all. And so, what? What would you would you like to wear the 13? I mean, just obviously it's nice to wear 13, but getting one to see. So you were saying that you want to wear 13? Depends, doesn't it? No, you're saying you want to wear <laughs> Do you want to wear the I'd have 13 if it were given to me. No, no. <laughs> what do you want? I'd take 13. So you want 13. <laughs> just, can we get this on camera? <laughs> Aaron, what number do you want next year? I'll have 13 if it's available. No, no, no. <laughs> He's not answering the question. question 13 or 18? Hey, I'll take 18. It's like Back two and down to Kenny. I don't blame you to be fair. He's, He's a specimen of a man. Um, no more serious one. Obviously, you're a postman, so can you just give us a, sort of, a bit of insight into a training day for you? So, yes, so uh, probably get up about five inch, have some brekkie, you know, get myself sorted, set off for work. Get there for around quarter past six, half past six. Yeah. Sort everything out, like mail wise. Get out on delivery outside about half nine ish. You know, deliver post mail, parcels, yeah. bit of everything, have a bit of a break, something to eat. And then normally done around, should get back to the office and depot about half two ish. And then what are you straight to training? Yeah, yeah. Take your stuff with straight you? to training, stuff's in back of my car. Yeah. And how are you finding it travelling with Tyler? Did you know him before? No, I didn't know him, but uh, he's alright. He's a special character, isn't he? He's very special. <laughs> he's, uh, you know, he's definitely a special character. Um, you enjoying it, though? Yeah, it's good. Conversations. And just on the back of that, obviously, we've, we're into week four, well, coming up to week four, have you yeah. now? The first three weeks. It's been tough, but quite enjoyable. Um, Getting back into the grind of things, you know. Getting back into doing some good trades on the gym one, as you can tell. How many? Uh, how many updates do you reckon you've done so far? I've completed them all. Man. I've done two minutes. I reckon if there was a world record for <laughs> down and ups, can you can you do us one on camera? I'll do one. Come on, do us another. Show you in here now. Thirty-five thousand of these this week. <laughs> Just give us one. Three, two, one. There it is. Yeah. So he's the king, basically. <laughs> completed about. <laughs> completed. Um, no, and another more serious one. Uh, are you a person who sets goals before the start of the year, or do you sort of just take every game as it comes? Um, I think it is good to set goals. Personally, I've n I don't really, I've never really set goals, but it might be something that I want to do this year. Yeah. With me, you know. Starting a new club and getting back into like a good environment, a good sort of training uh, mindset. I think it might be some of that I'll look into. And obviously, every, everyone who goes to a new club, they say that there's a talented group and that, but what do you think realistically our aim should be for this year? Um, I think definitely we should be aiming for the playoffs yeah. with the squad that finished put together. It's, uh, you know, a good looking squad, like a good attacking squad. Some handsome lads. Good boy, there's some good blokes in here. <laughs> but yeah. I think we'll go alright if you've got a fair being on, like, so. <laughs> um, what can, well, this is the final question, and it's a bit of a generic one, like, but what can witness fans expect from you and obviously your style of play? What, what will you bring to our team? My style of play, I'm probably more of a ball handling forward rather than the big lads who just cart, cart it in. Um, yeah, like like Kenny, fans, you know. So you're a, pro you're a proper 13? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm a bit of a running game, you know. A bit elusive sometimes, well, I used to be, but 
Not I'm so elusive when Bob's getting you doing that, <laughs> No, Bob, no, obviously it's a nice solo little chat with you. Um, we're all happy to have you on board, you're a hell of a player. Obviously you scored three tries against us, so that's probably why we brought him in, like, so, yeah, that'll, that'll do us, mate. Cheers.